How do you like your eggs, darling? Hmm? Scrambled? Very scrambled. Hmm? Frisco. Well, who else would be sneaking in? Oh. Hmm? We were married and I was fixing your breakfast. Hmm. What are you doing in here? I'm kissing you good morning. Does Tanya know you're in here? Yes, she does. And she said if you scream, she'll come running. How could I do that? Did you sleep? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you? No, I tossed <laughs> and turned. You see, if my plans would have worked last night. No, it... you sweetheart, I think it's good that we're sleeping in separate beds until the wedding. You do, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, come to think of it, that wasn't the only reason I couldn't sleep. Do you remember Sam and Eric coming by last night, what they told us? Yes. Yes, you get your guns today. That's right. Yeah. So, one of the reasons I couldn't sleep was because I was very upset, and the other was because I was very happy. I become a <laughs> cop today. Ta-da! Would you like to go out and have a celebration breakfast with me? How about if I make you a celebration breakfast here at home? <clears throat> oh. That way we can save some money for the wedding. First of all, I have to get going. I've got a real busy day, too. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Well, um, what are you doing, honey? You know, because if you want to stay here for a little while, I would love to. No, really, I don't have a whole lot of time because I have to meet with Monica and mm -hmm. I have to meet with the business professor. Why are you meeting with Monica? Because we're working on some wedding arrangements and plans for the wedding at the Quartermain Mansion. Mansion? What's the matter? Doesn't that make you a little nervous? I'm a princess. It's a mansion. I'm used to castles. Oh. A princess marrying a cop. You're not worried about that? Not at all. Besides, it'll be a great story for Robin, won't it? And why are you seeing your professor? Well, because he, he's got some job interviews lined up for me. So what are you doing today? I'm going to try to get this sling off and go see the doctor. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. been... You guys? Oh, hi. I didn't hear any screams or anything, so I wasn't quite sure what was going on. Oh, you can be sure. <laughs> Listen, um, Tony called. Oh, about Buzz? Yeah, and uh, he's through with the surgery. It was long, but Buzz is in stable condition. Oh, that's great. I don't know if Anne is hurt. I better call her and tell her. Honey, it's early. She might still be sleeping. She might sleep. I'm uh, making a complete check on Duke Avery's background. May I ask why the special interest chief? Well, I've been meaning to get some information on um, the waterfront businesses, and now that this Brownstone murder case is over, I think it's a perfect time for me to find out more about the city, the people in it. Not a bad idea. Yes. But I'm mainly interested in Duke Lavery, you know, the man and his club. Oh, I would love to know his connection with Angel. I would too. Absolutely. Oh, this is going to take a while, so... Oh, well, look, uh, I think he's clear on the Fort Charles police files, but why well, don't I go check again? All right, that's a good idea. Thank you. Oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Anna Devane's expecting us? Oh, yeah. Come on right in. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, you look kind of surprised. You weren't expecting us? Yes, um, I was. I, I was working. The bridesmaids are thinking of giving Felicia a shower, but we just can't decide where. A shower? Anna, is something wrong? No. You know, I, I've just had too much champagne and too mm, little sleep, sorry. I'm afraid. That's how it is. <laughs> that was some bash last night, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry? Oh. I mean, the award you were given, Chief Devane, was very inspiring. At least, man. That's right. <laughs> you know, if you, if you want to hold the shower at my apartment, you're more than welcome. Oh, perfection. Because I figured if we held it at the Brownstone, she'd find out about it immediately. So, <gasps> secondly, we were thinking of having just women. Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, sir, ma'am. Ma'am, in this case, we were also thinking of making it a lingerie shower. Yes, I think Felicia would like that. You know, I just realized something. You what? haven't heard about Buzz yet. No, I haven't. What about him? Buzz was operated on last night by Tony, Rick, and Yank. I didn't know about that. How is he? He, he came through the surgery all right. He's in stable condition. He had a massive infection around the steel plate in his head. My 
But I didn't know. I'm going to General's over here. Can we finish this discussion? Well, of course, yeah. I'll call you, all right? Okay. okay. Or you can call me yes, now. I'll, I'll call you. Okay. okay. Um, we were just leaving. Sorry, sorry. Captain. Yes. I I've got to get over to General Hospital straight away, all right? Oh, well, listen, I only came back to tell you that there's absolutely nothing on Duke Lavery on the Port Charles TV's files. Okay, well, you just keep looking, because I've got to go over to General Hospital. Anything you can find. You got it. Where can I look? Uh, yeah, yeah. Almost, 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 almost done. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> um, um, I don't really understand. What's the occasion? No occasion. It's just a token of my affection. Mm. No, no, no. Uh, no, this is much too extravagant. Time. Monica, for a woman as beautiful as you, there is nothing that is too extravagant. Mm, no, I can't. I can't. I can't take this. This oh, is too come much. Oh, It gives me a lot of pleasure. Well. That is, of course, if you like it. If I like it. Uh -huh. Oh, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Mm. Thank you. Oh, are you expecting someone? Well, I, uh, Felicia and Frisco are coming over to talk about the wedding, but they're early. Good afternoon, Dr. Quartermain. Who are you? Jennings, the butler, sir. Really? I was the gardener until Mrs. Quartermain promoted me. Oh. Is she in? Uh, yeah, well, uh, Ellen, what are you doing here? We're supposed to drive to the counseling session together. Oh, I forgot all about that. Uh, uh Felicia and Frisco are coming over to talk about the wedding. Well, it's fine. I'll tell Mrs. Feeney if you no, bother. Uh, no, no, don't do that. No, I'll, I'll go with you. Uh, Jennings, uh, if Felicia and Frisco come by, would you ask them to wait in the living room with the caterer? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, let's go, Alan. Come on. Alan? Yes. Yeah. Oh, today is going to really start yeah. to feel like cops. I wonder what caliber guns we'll get. Did you hear Frisco? No. Hear what? What caliber guns we get? 38s, I think. Uh, I don't know. Can't you see his mind is on the wedding? Hey, are you getting nervous about this? Yeah, I'm getting real nervous. Felicia's decided to have the wedding at the Quartermain Mansion. You're kidding. I've driven by that place. It's huge. It's an estate. Yeah, I know. Did I invite you? Not yet. You want to come? I'd love to. Great. I'm not sure I know how to behave in a place like that, though. Neither am I. Yeah, well, that makes three of us, but Alicia's made up her mind, and once she's made up her mind, there is no changing. <laughs> He's out of recovery and he's in his room. But I don't know if he's up to having any visitors yet. Ah, well, I can come back later. I'm between job interviews right now and I'm going to have lunch with Tanya to tell her my big news. What big news? Hello, ladies. My timing is perfect as usual. Hi, Jake. What are you doing here with my book? I thought you might want to do some studying while you're on your break. Well, thanks. That's real nice of you. Well, you're welcome. Your timing is perfect. I'm on my break. My timing is perfect, you see? Mm -hmm. Also, I wanted to let you know that I'm cooking dinner tonight. You and Frisco are invited. Uh, what are we celebrating? Not celebrating anything. I just know how hard you've been working lately. I thought I'd just be a nice guy. Can I just be a nice guy? You gonna be able to come? Well, sure, I'd love to. I'll, Good. I'll ask Frisco when I see him at Monica's. You're meeting Frisco at Monica's? That's the big news I was gonna tell you. Monica offered her mansion for the wedding, and I accepted. And the reception is a gift, but I couldn't accept because I know he's having such a financial struggle. So when he told Monica, she agreed to let me use her house. Isn't that fabulous? It's fabulous. I think it's terrific. <laughs> Can you imagine walking down those stairs? It's going to be like a dream come true. <laughs> yeah, I guess I suppose it is, isn't it? Something wrong? No, of course not. I. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I just figured since you and Frisco are living at the Brownstone, you know. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. No, it's okay. I mean, I know you've been busy. You, you have all your classes and you've been looking for a job and everything. Look, what's the difference? We know now, don't we? I think it's going to be terrific. Is Monica going to help you with the menus and all the other things that go along with a big wedding? Uh, yeah, that's why we're meeting this afternoon. I hope you don't think I intentionally left you out of this. No, don't be silly. 
Well, I just thought you'd like to be a guest for a change because there's a lot of hard work involved. Honey, I'm fine, really. She's fine, really. This wedding's gonna be a blast. That's right. It's gonna be great. Are you sure your feelings aren't hurt? I'm fine. My feelings aren't hurt. Well, all right. Um, I have to go. I have another job interview to get to. So, I guess I'll see ya. Okay, see you later. For dinner. Right. Yeah, uh, I'll check with your school. Okay. Excuse me. Sure. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I have to stop being a mother hen, right? I think it was nice if you bring my books, and I'll see you later tonight, okay? Sure. Oh, hi, Bob. Hi, honey. I can't talk right now, okay? Because I have to study on my break.